Hey everybody, so I am doing another what I eat in a day video as a vegetarian. I know you guys love these videos, so I thought I would do another one for you guys. So as usual, I start out with my coffee. I know I put this in every single video, but I do eat it in a day, so I feel like I should put it in there. It is just Keurig Pike's Place Coffee by Starbucks, and then I put in my um, creamer, which is the white peppermint mocha creamer. Um, sometimes I'll use the silk caramel creamer, but I love myself the white peppermint mocha creamer, so I always kind of go back to it here and there. So for breakfast, I'm doing a potato and egg kind of scramble, and I usually use um, potatoes that are frozen. You don't have to. You could definitely get um, just regular potatoes, cut them up, and use peppers and stuff, but I find that the frozen potatoes are really, really easy, so if you want something fast, this is definitely the way to go. So I just put some olive oil into a pan, and then I put that right in there, just the potatoes, and I kind of cook that for a while. Once they've kind of cooked for a little bit, I add the salt and pepper and garlic. So I wait for the garlic because I don't want the garlic to burn and that's why I wait for kind of the potatoes to cook just a little bit before adding that. Then I use this Real Salt Seasoning by the brand Redmond and you can get this on Amazon. It's amazing, I love this stuff so much. And I just sprinkle that onto the potatoes and if you feel like the potatoes are getting dry at all, you could just add a little bit of water and it kind of brings some moisture back into the potatoes. And then I just cooked up two eggs. I eat this with one egg, but my husband wanted some, so I made two eggs. Now please excuse my flipping skills right here. It's like a skill in itself to flip an egg while trying not to get your arms in the shot of the camera. That's why I don't know what I was doing here, but I saved it, so that was good. And then I just put the potatoes in a bowl and I put the egg over the top and I was going to put some avocado on this but the avocado that I thought was going to be good was not good so I had to throw it away but this is what it looks like you can eat it with salsa or ketchup and it's amazing. So I've been trying to get some more fruits and stuff into my diet because I haven't been the best about that lately. So I've been trying to eat more smoothies. So basically I just put in two bananas and I use this rice protein which is chocolate and it is a vegan protein which is good. And I use about a half a scoop of that. You could use a full scoop if you want. And then I use about a tablespoon of peanut butter. And then to make it even more filling, I use some oats. You don't have to put the oats in if you don't want to. And I put in some spinach. I try to put in spinach to all of my smoothies because you can't really taste it, but it adds a lot of nutrition. And then I added some chia seeds and some almond milk and blended it up. And I had this amazing protein smoothie. This has so much protein in it and it fills you up and it's really, really good, you guys. And it's kind of like a green tint from the spinach, but you can't taste the spinach at all. So for a snack, I decided to have one of my favorite snacks, and that's chips and salsa. And I get the salsa out of the refrigerator section versus the salsa out of like the chip section. It's so much better and it's always so much fresher. It's the Safeway brand that's kind of got this time. And then my favorite chips to eat with chips and salsa is the Juanitas brand. And I absolutely love it and it always hits the spot every single time. A long time ago I did a Instagram post and it was of some vegan chicken noodle soup I made and I told you guys I would show you guys how to make it one of these days so here I am finally doing it. Um, so what you want to do first is get a giant like pot and I just melt a little bit of butter in there and you want to cut up some onion, some white onion, some carrot and some celery. That's always like a really good base for any soup. And then I also did some zucchini. You could add mushroom if you want. You could pretty much add any vegetable that you want to add to this. Um, but I did about a half of an onion, a full carrot and then two uh, celery slices and then about a half a zucchini. Once you have all of your vegetables cut up, you just want to add them all to the butter in the soup pot and let it cook down for just a little bit. This is usually where I'll add some salt and pepper. And then once it kind of, you know, cooks down just a little bit, I add my garlic. And I also added some fresh thyme as well. Um, the fresh thyme is gonna make such a difference, you guys. It tastes so good. So I would probably add about a half of a tablespoon of fresh thyme, maybe a tablespoon if you want it to be really thymey. I don't know, I didn't really measure to be honest with you. Um, but like I said, the salt and pepper and also the garlic. And I just let that cook down a lot. Now, here's the thing. 
You want to add potato in at that same exact time, but I forgot that I was going to add potato, so I decided to cut up my potato really quickly so I could throw it in with the rest of the vegetables. I did one whole potato and that was the perfect amount. So while that was cooking, I decided to cut up my parsley. You're going to add the parsley at the very, very end. And I also cut up my tofu. So I did about a half of a block of tofu and I just cut it up into really small, like bite-sized pieces. You could also use like fake chicken if you want to get fake chicken and cut up that. I did that last time I made this and it was really good, but I decided to just do tofu this time. And then I did two full boxes of vegetable broth. You could use like vegetable bouillon cubes, that's what I've done before, but I do like the vegetable broth. If you can get that from the store, I feel like it's just a little bit better. And then I just threw in the tofu, and I also threw in one bay leaf, which is really, really good. It adds like a really nice deep herby kind of flavor. And then that real salt seasoning by Redmond, I put that in there too. I feel like that has a really good like kind of chickeny flavor, you know, that chicken packet that you put in top ramen. That's kind of what it tastes like, but it is not chicken. It just has a really good flavor. And then at the very, very end, you want that to cook and cook and cook, but right before you serve it, maybe like a half an hour before you serve it, you want to add in about a cup of egg noodles. Um, and then you want to add lemon and that parsley at the very, very end, like right before you serve it. You just want those noodles to get soft and that's it basically, that's it for the soup. Okay, so here was a hack that I found on TikTok. Somebody said to put turmeric in your chicken noodle soup and it'll make it yellower. And it worked, it did make it yellow, but it also made the noodles yellow and the like tofu and the potatoes yellow. So I probably won't do that again in the future, but it did do the trick, it did make it yellower. The nice thing about it is it doesn't really give any flavor, so it didn't really affect the flavor of the soup. So now I'm making some grilled cheese sandwiches and I just used white bread and I put a little bit of mayo on the outside of the bread and that's gonna kinda make it brown. And then I just put in some mild cheddar and my little secret special thing that I like to do with my grilled cheese sandwiches is put in apple. So I just peeled up an apple and cut it into really thin slices and I put some on the grilled cheese sandwiches and I just cooked them on like medium heat and they turned out amazing. The apple literally gives it the best flavor. It's kind of like a sweet, savory type of feel, but it's really good guys. You need to try it. So another really important step in the grilled cheese making process is to use a lid. And this is gonna help the cheese melt, so you're gonna get a really like gooey grilled cheese sandwich. Super important, and I never forget that step. So this is how I served up my dinner. I just use these cute little bowls that used to be my grandma and grandpa's. I love serving my soup in those bowls. And then I just put the grilled cheese sandwich on the side, and it was so good. Travis loves like soup and sandwiches. He personally prefers tomato soup, but I really wanted to make my grilled not my grilled, my uh, chicken noodle soup. So anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know if you guys wanna see any more recipes in future videos and I'd be happy to make them for you guys. I post a lot of food on my Instagram so if there's anything that you guys wanna see on there, I could definitely put that in future videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a really good day and I'll talk to you guys soon.